Hello Pisces and welcome to my channel Weekend with Nancy. This is going to be your May 2020 Soul Connections and Separation Love Reading. You guys, I have switched things up on my channel. I've been called to focus my readings on soul connections and separation. So this means that you have a deep soul connection with someone. There's something about this connection that's very different from anything that you've ever experienced before. And it's just, you have like this deep bond, this deep love, this deep knowing of this person. And so if that is not your thing, then this is not the reading for you. But you guys are probably in separation. There's probably no communication or there's some obstacle between the two of you. And um, we are going to look at your person's energy towards you today. This is going to be a general reading, so it's not going to resonate with everyone, okay? And if you would like to book a private reading with me, I will pin a comment down below. You can click on the link, be directed to my website, awakenwithnancy.com. I've introduced about eight new decks to the channel recently, and I'm super excited. It's just like infusing my channel with new energy, new messages, and I'm really loving it. I hope that you do too. The decks are not linked below, so I will try to remember to call them out to you, okay? And um, I do have a new ad addition to my altar, my channel. Um, Lord Krishna has been with me for quite some time, and I've relocated him to another place in my home, and I am very, very pleased to um, bring Kuan Yin into my channel onto my altar she is the chinese goddess of mercy and compassion and recently i have been called to channel messages through her um, i've been connected with her for a very very long time decades and i've always been very very drawn to her and spirit has spoken you guys um, she is meant to be here with me um, to bring you messages so i just think she is so beautiful and I hope that hope that you enjoy her being here. I um, have pulled some overall energy for the reading, and there's it's interesting. It's an interesting mix. We've got some <clears throat> some uh, you know challenging. We've got some challenging messages here. So we've got um it's so first of all this is the fairy wisdom oracle you guys i i love these cards they're so cute they're so beautiful we've got trouble and the key word is honesty this card is telling you to keep your eyes open and your ears alert someone is not being as honest with you as they can be um so you know, this is somebody stretching the truth or covering up facts, okay? So just pay attention. Pay attention to what your person is saying, all right, or not saying, because we do have this trickery card as well, and this is from my wisdom oracle deck and this is green so it is related to the heart chakra the trouble um this is purple and we've got all these other lavender cards so this is related to the brow chakra the six eye chakra and this is about seeing things without sight this is about your intuition and letting your own inner guidance um you know guide you so there is something that you are not wanting to see is what I'm feeling. Now let's look at this trickery card and just see what this says. So this is, this is about the heart chakra and, um, the, per oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah. The personal inquiry is, am I afraid to tell the truth? How does that fear make me manipulate others? This is the same message as the trouble card. So somebody within this connection is not being honest. Um, yeah. What do I really need to say? This is about being vulnerable and honest, you guys. It's about hidden motives. And so if you are not being honest with your person, if you haven't been honest with your person in the past, 
this is something to really, that is a message to take to heart because it is repeating. Then we've got courage. I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. Maybe you're afraid to speak the truth to your person. Maybe they're afraid to speak their truth to you. And then we've got surrender. I can release my need to control. And this could go both ways, you guys, because this energy can flip-flop. So there is a theme about facing your fear to be honest within this connection. I'm going to set these cards over here. And then we've got Lavaria. This is about letting love grow. And, you know, this is really about this connection because it's not healthy when we are obsessing about another. It's just not healthy. You, there needs to be more balance within you, within them, within this connection because it has turned into obsessive thoughts, okay? And then, so that is from the Magic of You Oracle deck. And then we've got another message. It is acceptance. It is related to the root chakra, which is about safety, security, um, being grounded, okay? And this says, when I accept myself, I find love. And the personal inquiry is, am I distorting my reality in a self-defeating way? Can I simply accept myself? And the key words, this is about manifesting knowledge and luck. And the key ideas are, you know, new ways of seeing yourself and embracing imperfection. So are you fearing that you're not good enough for this person? Um, something like that is coming through. So now what I want to do, I want to take this Lavaria card back. I want to shuffle and see what your person's energy is toward this connection and see if they're mirroring you. Okay. Let's see what card comes through. What do we need to know for Pisces? Open your arms. Okay, so we've had let love grow and now we've got open your arms. And do you see these, um, <clears throat> these flowers that are on her back? She's got her arms crossed and she's being very protective of herself and her heart, possibly because she fears trickery and lies and dishonesty. She is feeling like she's not good enough. Um, this is this is your person's energy towards you. And, you know, if she keeps her arms crossed, it's like these little petals on these flowers are flying away. And this is about opening your arms so that this connection does not die. Wow. Okay. So their energy towards you. They want you to open your arms to this love, to this connection. Let's see what else is coming through. They want to keep this connection alive. And, you know, that can only be through honesty is what I'm feeling. That is a huge, huge theme in this reading so far. Oh my gosh. Okay. Redemption. We've got the judgment card. This is about redemption. This is about a resurrection. It's also about a review of your life, of your karma, your choices. Okay. Um, it's like, how have I been living my life? How do I want to live my life? What do I need to let go of? What do I need to embrace? Um, this is the spiritual awakening card and this is their energy toward you. So your person may be very spiritual. They may, um, <clears throat> feel deeply, deeply connected to spirit, um, to another dimension, but the way they're viewing you is that, um, 
it's almost like they're questioning the choices that you've made in your life. It's not for them to judge, but I'm just telling you, um, you've made some choices along the way that I feel have hurt your person. And um, so they are wanting you to open your arms to this connection and approach it differently. They want to resurrect this connection but they want to they want to go down a different path with you. So if there has been dishonesty um, or withholding, withholding is something that's coming through. If there has been withholding, they're asking you to you know open your arms, open your arms to this love. You are they're seeing you as trapped in your head and in, unable to make a decision stuck. They're seeing you as very stuck. They may be, they may be very stuck in their head as well. Inner child. Okay. Um, what I think is going on here, um, there, we did get this acceptance card and that is related to sense of self because it's the root chakra that's the base of who we are what i'm feeling is that this connection is bringing up these inner child wounds in your person you are somehow triggering them and there's been a lack of honesty a lack of forthcoming in this relationship they may be holding back and not sharing this information with you this could be um, also um, the connection is bringing up inner child wounds within you and this is a very th common theme for these connections you guys it's one of the purposes of these connections it's like we draw these people into our lives so that they can um, help us bring up these wounds that are meant to be healed, okay, so that we can become whole and, you know, live up to our potential. Oh my gosh, we've got metamorphosis. And this could be um, a Scorpio, okay, because this is like the death card to me. Um, this is a beautiful, beautiful energy. This is about transformation. It's profound change. It's, um, it's leaving the past in the past and, you know, going down a new journey. So the judgment and the metamorphosis are very similar. This is about redemption. This is about profound change. They want to, they want to create profound change within this connection. Beautiful, beautiful. They want to transform things with you. Let's see where they're at on their journey. We've got the seven of pentacles and um, this is them, you know, doing work. I feel they're doing work on themselves, but it's not quite time to resurrect this connection is what I'm feeling. We do have the Knight of Cups here, and this is really beautiful because this is them feeling this deep love for you, wanting to express this love to you, okay? They do wanna to come towards you, but it's not quite the right time. Um, let's get some more cards for where they're at on their journey. They're, they're doing some inner work is what I'm feeling. Deception. Okay. So we, yeah, you guys, there's, there's something within this connection that's being hidden. Um, because, you know, we've got trouble and trickery and now deception so there's a lack of honesty it's just a repeating theme i knew that card was going to come up this is about hiding something and this is where 
they are on their journey. I feel like, you know, with this coming in under the Eight of Swords, it's like they have been they there's something about themselves that they're not accepting especially with this inner child they may have abandonment issues um, self-esteem issues and they just can't accept it and they may not have communicated this with you okay but there's something um, deeply wounded within them and they have not really shared that with you or they haven't faced it themselves and you know they're trying to hide from it but you can't hide forever you can't hide from yourself you guys um, they're, they're trying to hide it though. They're trying to sweep it under the rug is what I'm feeling. And then we've got the communication card. And so, yeah, they are definitely, this is like the eight of wands are definitely wanting to come towards you, definitely wanting to communicate. Um, but it's, it's something within them that needs to be resolved. It's just not quite the quite the right time. I do feel like they do want to confide in you. And then we've got material world. And this is under metamorphosis. So I'm feeling that um, once they do come towards you to communicate, they are hopeful that they can transform things with you in the physical world. That's how I read the material world card, okay? Now, I'm gonna take this trickery card back. I'm gonna reshuffle the deck and see if, um, <clears throat> this card comes out again this is what's challenging them this is what's challenging your person let's see if there is a theme here a continuing theme wisdom yeah and it's green as well so what I'm getting is um, something went down between the two of you, obviously, because you're in separation and their heart chakra is a little bit closed because we do have this oblivion, open your arms. This is their energy towards you. They feel that you're closed off to them, but they could be just projecting that to you. I'm feeling that they're closed off. They have kind of shut down their heart a little bit. Um, because this is what's challenging them. And this is the wisdom of the heart, knowing what you know. It's like this guy, um, this guy right here, he appears, this is spirit. He appears in the cards um, that relate to the seventh chakra, the crown chakra. That's about universal consciousness. So they're, they're blocking the wisdom of their heart is what, what I'm getting from this. So let's see where else they're blocked. Uh, or what's challenging them? Well, anxiety, self-sabotage. It's like they want you to open your arms, but they don't want to open their arms. It's like a standoff. They've got high anxiety. They're losing sleep about this connection, about revealing some, some things to you. And then we've got the page of wands. This is about communication and moving forward, okay? It's a new chapter. They want this new chapter. They definitely want to transform things. They want this new chapter, but they're blocking it. They are blocking it. Balancing the scales. This is the justice card. Yeah, so with justice and judgment, there is something that needs to be balanced out between the two of you. It's a karmic cycle. It's a karmic lesson for both of you. And um, yeah, both of those cards are very karmic in nature. So there's some sort of justice that needs to come in. And I do feel that it's coming. Um, but it's just going to take some time because it's very challenged. And then we've got fear. So yeah, they're afraid to reveal something to you. <clears throat> and I think it's their insecurity, something that happened in childhood. Um, I want to get some messages from their higher self to you. You guys, I'm looking at Quan Yin on the monitor. She looks so pretty. <laughs> I just Oh, I love having her here with the white tulips and the white candles. Beautiful. 
Okay, messages from their higher self to you, Pisces. I am grateful for the spiritual lesson. Yeah, so with judgment coming through, um, this could be a little projection, a little mirroring as well. I do feel that both of you are learning spiritual lessons from this connection. And then I hide behind material things. Um, interesting, because we've got this deception and this person is hiding behind this tree. So it, it, they hide behind material things um, because they feel a little emptiness inside. They feel um, insecure inside and it just makes them, makes them feel better to um, focus on money, career, things where they're achieving, okay? They're not wanting to face these um, these wounds that they need to heal. And then we've got, I know I messed everything up. So maybe they are the ones that were dishonest or withholding in the connection and they're just projecting that. Uh, courage, strength, inner strength, taming the beast within. This is about them really needing courage to talk to you, to open up to you about this connection. What it brings up in them, how it challenges them. Six of Cups, unconditional love, wanting reunion, nostalgia, soulmate. They, they want this reunion with you. They definitely want this reunion with you. They want to come back together. They want to transform things for sure. Let's get another card. Oh my gosh, devotion. <laughs> this just came out for Sagittarius, not Sagittarius, Aquarius. Um, yeah, this is the unconditional love combined with the Six of Cups. They do love you unconditionally. They really do. Okay, let's um, let's get some cards from the universe um, about this connection. What does spirit have to say? What is the word on this connection, spirit? Strictly sexual, this connection is passionate but not enduring. Well, I am feeling that it won't endure if this lack of honesty continues, okay? It may have started out as sexual. I'm not seeing that within this reading though, okay? Maybe your person is fearing that it's strictly sexual. Maybe that's why they're afraid to open up to you, um, why they feel you're closed off to them. I don't feel that this is a strictly sexual connection. Vulnerability, you can be completely open with this person. Oh my gosh. And we've got open your arms. The universe is guiding you to open up to this person and be vulnerable. Otherwise, yes, it, it may be strictly sexual. If we can't open up and be vulnerable with each other, then really what do we have? you know, a, a, a sexually based connection without intimacy, without vulnerability, it's, um, it's empty. It's empty, you guys. Abundance. You've done the work. Abundance flows to you now. Abundance is more than about money, you guys. We can receive abundance in all forms. Joy happiness, um, self-worth, all of those things are abundance that come to us, okay? Um, knowing things, um, you know, opening your arms, that's all abundance. And then we've got, go slow, take time to get to know each other. Some of you, that's not for everyone in this, you know, this strictly sexual is only for a very small percentage of you and this goes slow. I mean, I think that you, every, 
most of you in the connection do need to go slow, but this is specific to those of you who were not in a relationship and who did not date, okay? It's for those of you who met this person and there is a connection there, but you've never been fully together, okay? So let's see, what do I want to do now? Um, what are their intentions towards you? Pisces, ooh, saw the Wheel of Fortune. The Knight of Pentacles, they wanna to come towards you. So we're seeing the Knight of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles. What that tells me is they have deep love for you. They want something very solid with you. You do add value to their life. They wanna add value to your life. They want to solidify this connection. And we've got the Seven of Cups, but they're a little confused. Um, we've got the King of Cups. Um, they, they have deep, deep, deep love for you, okay? Deep love for you. Mature love, mature love. Um, they want to express it. They do, they do want to open up to you. They're feeling a little bit reserved. They are really working on mastering their emotions, okay? So that they are not overcome by them. And because sometimes, you know, if we, if we are not a master of our emotions, if we start um, being vulnerable with and opening up to someone, it can really, um, it can kind of backfire and we can, you know, just take off running. It's like that runner chaser thing. It's like, oh my gosh, I just made myself vulnerable and now I have to run away and be by myself because I can't handle this. I can't handle rejection. It's that fear. It's that fear. And then we've got commitment. So they absolutely want some sort of commitment with you. Okay. They're in it for the long haul is what I'm feeling. Now let's get some messages from their heart space. Ooh, they want to charge forward in this connection. So we're getting the Knight of Pentacles and we're getting the Chariot. I feel like they, they really do want to be with you, but they're holding themselves back. And then we've got the Six of Pentacles. This is about giving to each other. They do want to be vulnerable with you. They do want to open up to you, but it's it's really difficult for them. In their heart, yes, they do. And we've got the Knight of Wands. They're very passionate about you. They're passionate about this connection. Um, it's just difficult for them to open up. And then we've got Fall. They have totally fallen for you. That's the message I'm getting. So let's see um, how the universe wants or how the universe is supporting this connection, you guys. How is the universe supporting this connection? The Seven of Cups, that's a repeating message. The Sun. Oh, okay. The way I'm reading this is after confusion, there will be illumination, growth, expansion, happiness, joy. This is what the universe is wanting. This is what the universe is pushing for. And then Ace of Wands, passionate new beginning. You guys may really be going down like um, uh, you, uh, you both. So this is what's happening. Um, the universe wants you both to embrace this spiritual awakening together. And after you've done your work on your own, it's like continuing this journey together. Beautiful. Wow. That's really beautiful. This is what spirit wants. This is what spirit wants. And then we've got the death card again. It's up here. Metamorphosis. Um, spirit wants this, this um, connection transformed, transformed spiritually. Wow. Okay, let's see what a potential outcome is. What action may take place. Okay. 
Okay, Ten of Voices. This is the Ten of Swords. Um, after a painful ending, after this separation, um, the two of you are going to build together. You're going to work together on rebuilding this connection. This is the Three of Pentacles. Beautiful. What else do we need to know for Pisces, please? A new beginning, Ace of Pentacles. Yep, yep. After this painful ending, there's going to be a new build, a new beginning, and you're going to start building together. Building together. One more card, please. And you guys, this is the Muse Tarot. I absolutely love this. And we've got the Knight of Voices, the Knight of Swords. So yeah, there's going to be a decision and um, it's it's a bit of a breakthrough. And then there is going to be action taken toward this new beginning, either by you or your person. And um, we've got the King of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. And so I, this is, this is amazing. This is like stability coming into this connection. So I hope that you enjoyed this Pisces. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you did resonate with this, please like, share, subscribe. I'd love to hear your comments. If you want to be notified next time I upload, hit the bell. Um, I hope you're all safe and well. I'm sending lots and lots of love and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye-bye.